Hi, I'm George and welcome back to the PDF Element channel. The iPhone 14 and iOS 16 are finally here and I'm sure you want to get the most out of using this amazing device. So today we want to share a very useful tutorial for you so you can learn how to store and sync your PDFs with Apple Books. If you don't know Apple Books, you might know it as iBooks and it's a very useful application for iOS and macOS users. In addition to this, you will discover a very attractive alternative so you can take advantage of your electronic books and documents. If you want to learn everything you need to know about using this with iOS, be sure to stay to the end of this video. Welcome back to the PDF Element channel. Let's talk a little bit first about Apple Books. Apple Books is a native iOS and macOS app that fulfills the purpose of being a bookstore and digital e-reader. This application is extremely practical, especially if you're already in the Apple ecosystem. It benefits from being connected to iCloud. This means you can back up all of your documents using iCloud and then access everything you need from your iPhone, iPad, or MacBook. So for this reason, in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to sync your PDF iBooks, now better known as Apple Books, between all of your iOS and macOS devices. In this video, we are going to cover how to store and sync your PDFs with Apple Books, the advantages and disadvantages of Apple Books, an alternative for Apple Books, which is the Wondershare Document Cloud, and then how to store and sync your PDFs with the Wondershare Document Cloud. If you've never used Apple Books before, don't worry, I'm here to help you. This app comes by default on any iOS or macOS device, but if you don't see it installed on your device, maybe you deleted it, we can just go to the App Store and get it downloaded again. Number one, how to store and sync PDFs with Apple Books. To store and sync your PDFs with Apple Books, it's actually very, very simple. I'm gonna show you the steps you need to follow now. So we're first gonna to go to the Files app and open the PDF you want to store. Now tap the square and arrow icon on the lower left corner of your phone screen. On this window, you will see some options and icons. Scroll right and find the Apple Books icon. Once you've done that, just tap it. If you couldn't find it, tap More and the icon should appear in that section. The Apple Books app will open automatically and you'll be able to see the stored document. To make sure of that, you can tap on Library to confirm that your PDF is in the app. Finished. And with this, you can not only store your PDFs within Apple Books, but also they're now stored in the iCloud. This means that just by signing into this app on other devices, the PDF documents and books you have stored will always be available. Number two, the advantages and disadvantages of Apple Books. First, our advantages. Number one, it's free. Apple Books is completely free and you don't need to worry about it being compatible with your iOS and macOS devices. Number two, you have total support, being a native Apple application, compatibility and support across different devices like your iPhone, iPad and Mac OS is never going to be an issue. Number three, you have a nice interface. The Apple Books interface is very simple and easy to use and you will quickly be able to use everything you need to in the app. Number four, it has very functional tools. Apple Books has very interesting tools to make your reading experience much more comfortable. Some of them are finding words, highlighting, zoom and dictionary among others. Number five, easy sync. As we've already seen, it's incredibly easy to sync your documents through the cloud so you can access them across different devices using Apple Books. Now for the disadvantages. Number one, it is bound to the Apple ecosystem. Being an Apple app, Apple Books is only usable within the Apple ecosystem. So if you ever need to use something like an Android or a PC, you are completely stuck in terms of accessing those synced files elsewhere. And number two, editing. Within Apple Books, you cannot edit any of your PDF documents or your books. There's no way that you can tweak or make notes on your files. Number three, our alternative for Apple Books, the Wondershare Document Cloud. Apple Books is a great app, although it's important to recognize that it does have some serious limitations. An important aspect of this is the fact that it is bound to the Apple ecosystem, so it's only accessible through iOS and macOS devices. This means that you won't be able to use it to manage your documents through Windows or Android devices. And you'll likely know that all the documents then use up some of your iCloud space, which can be both costly and also difficult to manage. So there is an alternative, but what is it? Well, we'd like to introduce you to the Wondershare Document Cloud, which solves a lot of these problems. This is completely compatible with macOS, iOS, but also very importantly, Windows and Android. Within iOS, that includes the brand new iPhone 14 and iOS 16. And this tool is ideal to be able to keep all of your PDFs synced across different ecosystems and devices. The Wondershare Document Cloud shares all of the same benefits of Apple Books, but also allows us to break out of the Apple ecosystem and also completely edit all of our PDFs. 
So I know you want to know more. So in the next section, I'm gonna show you how to use the Wondershare Document Cloud to store and sync your PDF files. Number four, how to store and sync your PDF files using the Wondershare Document Cloud. Before we start, make sure you have updated PDF element on your device. If this is not the case or you haven't downloaded it yet, you can go to the download link in the description below this video. To store a PDF with the Wondershare Document Cloud on iPhone or iPad, just follow these very simple steps. So first, we're going to go into our Files app and look for the PDF we need. Then we'll click on the arrow icon on the lower left corner. Then a menu will be displayed. Scroll right until you find the PDF element icon. If it's not there, tap on more, scroll down and tap PDF element. This will automatically open the document in the app. Click on the left arrow icon to go back to the app interface. Then on the home screen of PDF element, click on the three dots below the document you want to store. Then from the list, tap upload. From the options, select document cloud. Confirm the task by tapping upload the document cloud. Go to the document cloud section and you will see the PDF stored on Wondershare document cloud. So that is the steps on your iPhone. Now let's see how to do it on a MacBook. From your Mac, it's also possible to store these PDFs in Wondershare document cloud. Let's go to the document cloud section and click on the upload file button. Then select the file you want to store on Wondershare document cloud. You can also drag and drop the file into the document cloud window. There's another option to store your PDFs on Wondershare cloud. Go to the home screen and click the three dots below the document of your choice. And from these listed options, select upload to document cloud. To confirm that your PDFs are stored in the cloud, click document cloud and you will see the list of documents that are already uploaded. That was easy, wasn't it? And to sync all these PDFs, all you need to do is sign into Wondershare document cloud on any device. And that's all you need to do to be able to access any of your files, regardless of the system that you're using. Wondershare document cloud offers up to one gig of free space for five active users per day. This is a pretty interesting alternative, isn't it? And if you're worried about new iOS 16 or iPhone 14, don't worry because Wondershare document cloud and PDF element are 100% compatible. I hope this video on how to store and sync PDFs using Apple Books and Wondershare Document Cloud has been extremely helpful for you. Stay tuned to our channel because we're always uploading PDF element tips for Windows, Mac, iOS, and Android users, such as our videos on how to share PDFs between Mac and PC, or how to edit PDFs between phone and desktop. Remember to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any future pro tips, and I'll see you in the next video.